Welcome to Just Desserts. My name is Renee Smith. And I'm Jamie Hendricks. And Jamie, today we're going to play a math game. Something that you can help your children uh, review their multiplication facts with. And it's called Stepping Stone Multiplication. Now I've got two game boards here because I found out the first time we played this that if we only played it with one game board, we kept losing the beans because oh. basically we're going to have this uh, on on the, the website and so parents could download this or you could just reproduce it on a piece of paper. It's it's not that it's anything fabulous here. But when we played it on just one and every time we would move the clips, then the beans would spill. So it's smart to have two of them so that you can actually move the clips on one and place your beans on the other for the game board. Okay, so the clips have something to do with the game. The, the clips have something to do with the game. So what we do here is we have two uh, clothespins, or you could use paper clips or any kind of marker on this board. And so what we do is I, if I were going first, I get to place both of the clips on the numbers at the bottom, on two of the numbers at the bottom. And then I would multiply those two numbers together to find their product or their answer, and I would place my bean on the board were that long. So I could actually put this on three times seven and take one of my brown beans and find 21 and that would be where I would place my first bean, my first marker. Okay. Now, the thing is, the next person only gets to move one of those clips. So you're gonna keep a seven or you're gonna keep a three for your turn and find a product based upon where you move the other clip okay. to. And you can double up the clips. So you can do three times three and find nine on the board as well. So all of the all of the products can be made from these numbers in one way or another. There's a lot of strategy that goes into this game because the object is to make a path or a stepping stone path with your beans across the board. And you can do that either by going across horizontally and you can go this way and this way and this way and this way you can just have as long as you could step from one square to the next or you can actually make a path or a bingo path vertically and so uh, if you can do that but again it can step across funny too it could just be like that so there's a lot of strategy in trying to block the other person by where the clips are placed and sometimes it's almost impossible to uh, not put them in a place where it's going to help out the opponent on the next turn. So you have to be really strategic in where you place your clips. So when does the game end? The game ends when someone has a path of beans that either go across or up and down in some manner at, that they could step across the board. Okay. okay. So it could be four. It could be four. It could be, it could be five. five. Or it could even, you know, if you had to go... It could be more to get okay. across the board. So there's a lot of strategy involved in how you play the game. So you want to try? Sure. Okay, you want to go first? I'll even let you go first. All right. I'm going to okay. do my favorite. Okay, your favorite one is? Six times five. Okay, six times five. Where's that going to land you on the board? Then I would be on 30, wherever that is. 30 is right there. Okay, so you took six times five. And so you have to keep the either. The five I have to either six. keep the six or the fives, and there's no two, which would have been a great block to try. Six times two would have been twelve, but that that's not going to happen. So I'm going to do five times eight, so that I can maybe start to block you there on forty. Okay, so then I have to keep one of them. You have to keep one of them, either the eight or the five. So I didn't give Not you a very like good any, any of them. I know I didn't give you a very good move there, did I? And I wasn't even paying that much attention. But I can do eight times three though. And okay. Block you possibly a little bit. Uh huh. Eight times three is twenty-four. Good. Okay. So you've got. Um, hmm. Now you're gonna make me think really hard, aren't you? Three times ooh. Thank you. Three Aww. times four does give me 12. Thanks a lot. I like that. Now that doesn't leave me in very good position. Hmm. At all. Hmm. Oh, you found it. Darn it. Four times eight is 32. So you did block, block me. Ugh. Four times eight. So I'm going to do... Plus I started my You started your own row going that way, too. Uh, I'm going to do 7 times 4 is 28 to try to not let you do that. 7 times 4. 
then I can do, I don't know. Well, you see how the aim goes, though. Yes. And so if we kept going, eventually one of us would make a path across the board. And it's just a fun way to review those multiplication facts, especially for kids that struggle with that. Well, it, it's the multiplication facts plus the strategy and thinking ahead and thinking backwards and all the multiples. And, <laughs> and thinking about how to not let your opponent yes. have the clips in the right place for their final move of the day. So, you think your kids would like this? I do. Huh? I think I might, too. <laughs> you might like it, the strategy involved, yeah. too. Great. Well, thanks for joining us again on Just Desserts. Join us again next time for more things you can do at home with your kids.